Let's take a look at the sculpting brushes. Okay, so up to this point, I've just kind of been putting tools that I've been needed to make them. But now there's something called sculpting. Uh, and these are the sculpting brushes. And this could also be found in the, um, let's see here. So sculpting tools right here, okay? And maybe what I could do, instead of like looking at these icons, kind of guessing what they are, if it's the first time I'm using it, I could maybe tear this off. And now I've got these um, tools here that I could use to even further refine this. Uh, for example, like on the, on the fingers here, I feel like the fingers maybe feel a little flat. So what I could do is I could go to something like maybe the inflate tool. Um, let me see. Or I, I guess they call it bulge. So if I go to the bulge and then uh, come over here, hold down B as in brush and left mouse click, I can change the size of the brush. And if I click, <clears throat> by default, it's going to have too much effect. I think by default, if I reset this, if I use it now, you can see that it just kind of really blows that up. Okay. Um, and my size is going to be too big. So I'm going to put this strength to like 0.1. And then I'm going to, see, I don't see a circle. That means it's still too big. I'm going to just hold down B and then just left mouse drag until I start to see my circle. And sometimes if you zoom out, yeah, you can see that my brush was this big. Okay, so I'm just going to hold down B, make it really small. And now go like that. Now you can see that I can kind of go like this and how that bulges it out really nicely. Okay, and I, it looks like I've got symmetry on, so it should be doing it on both sides. Yeah, and those are fingers are looking better. We just kind of bulge this to the knuckle. Pretty good. And bulge up here. And now also I can bulge the thumb. inside the mesh there we go and I mean you get the idea um, with that I mean I could kind of um, go around there um, but if we take a look at some other brushes maybe like the smooth brush okay the smooth um, now once again I hold down B I kind of come around here and, and just kind of go over the, the model a little bit to make it even smoother um, kind of averages out some you know, some areas that, like here, this might have got pulled out kind of weird. Maybe I make it smaller yet and just kind of go in there. There we go. All right, excellent. And and you might be saying, well, okay, this is great and all, but take a look at the, the reference here, okay? So how was this done? Well, basically when I created this, I ended up, I started it in Maya, basically exactly like I'm doing here. Then I would bring it into another program called ZBrush. And what ZBrush does is it allows you to sculpt with a, I feel like a much finer level of control. But imagine if we kept smoothing this mesh out um, and then we use these tools, we got really good at using these tools to literally sculpt these muscles and all the wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. That's essentially what ZBrush is, but I feel like it's, uh, it's really designed for that. So I recommend if you want super high-end detail uh, you would need to use 
um, ZBrush or a program like ZBrush to do that kind of um, high-end work. But you can see that um, you can kind of play around with um, you know these these sculpting tools and kind of uh, see what um, Maya has to offer. But really, I, I think really professionally, you would you would need to have something like uh, ZBrush or an equivalent. Um, I know that Mudbox is would be a, the equivalent to um, ZBrush. And I've got nothing wrong with Mudbox. I feel like um, Mudbox is a good program. I feel like it's uh, it's kind of like ZBrush with a Maya interface. Um, but yeah, I think feel free to kind of play around with some of these and see what you like. But I just want to introduce you to that.